This camp near the port in Calais is home for a group of Iranian migrants, but they hope not for much longer. Their dream to get to Britain is often promised by smugglers who come here almost daily. Ahmad paid 500 euros to a man who took him hidden in the back of a van to a beach with seven other migrants. And after 20 or half, uh, 20 or 30 minutes, we uh, got there and uh, the boat is uh, ready. Everything is ready for uh, pass, for cross. They said, uh, I go and I come back with the driver. Okay, but uh, he go and don't come back with driver. And after he uh, say he he saw us and he don't go, and he come and with a knife, he said, if you don't turn on and go, don't go, I kill you. He says this is a picture of the boat taken after they were eventually rescued. We can't independently verify the images. They were stranded for eight hours at sea after the engine cut out and the boat filled with water. He was taken back to France and detained by the authorities before being released. Why the UK? Why do you... Why UK? Because I saw my family uh, living in UK, my sister living in UK. And just for this, I want to go to UK. He translates for Ali, who tells me he had a similar experience. He attempted the journey just four days ago, desperate to reach England, where his wife and young son are living after getting in on a lorry three months ago. Why now? Why, why try now? Because uh, now uh, the smuggler works with bot. You can... Uh, uh, find uh, the smuggler very easily here. His boat was intercepted after six hours in the channel. He claims he was detained, handcuffed and kicked by French police. Charities like Care for Calais provide the basics for migrants, but life here is harsh and the future uncertain. Charity workers are seeing more people willing to try anything to get out. And that should tell us all we really need to know about the situation here in Calais. It is a really desperate one, and it is one where people are willing to risk their lives because they have no other option. Patrolling the channel HMC Searcher, it will soon be joined by two more Border Force cutters after the Home Secretary announced extra measures to help secure the border and prevent deaths. In Calais, there's a sense that nothing will stop people trying. People here are desperate, and even though some have tried the treacherous journey and failed to make it to Britain, they're still willing to take the risk again if they get the opportunity. There's still hope here that 2019 is the year they'll finally reach their destination. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Calais.